Hi. In the previous video, I walked through the the merging process uh, from the from the reactant material admin to the original lab portal uh, source code. Uh, from this video, I'm gonna walk through like what has been changed after the merging. So the this is the second uh, check in complete the login redirect. So after the merging, we need to, we need to change the login. The old website uh, from uh, ma uh, React Material uh, Material Admin using a pop up uh, login window. So whenever you go to that site, like it will basically give, uh, render the login window first. And after the login window is rendered, you you log in, then you go to the dashboard. So we want to change the logic so that when the uh, page when the public uh, uh, public page is rendered there is a, a user profile button on the top right and when you click the button uh, it will have a drop down to give you option to log uh, to log in or sign in and whenever you hit that sign in uh, button it will be redirect you will be redirect to this uh, the sign in light api.net to to the authentication authorization and after that it will redirect back to the portal site which is a light api dotnet for the production so the first change like we want to make is we want to make the header dot js a little bit different uh, we basically like uh, move the notification menu and the mail menu to a separate uh, component, just like uh, the profile menu uh, in the previous uh, in the previous step, yeah. So we basically move, remove the messages, all the data and the notification data to separate component to their own corresponding component, and then we add this uh, use uh, use user state uh, contact user uh, user contact. Yeah, since we have we got the menu uh, removed, all those are gone. We don't need the mail menu, is menu, notification, blah blah, and we still have search here, and we have uh, is authenticated here. So the menu is removed. You can you can see like uh, th this is all gone, and uh, the logic now will be, if it is authenticated, then we display the, the notification menu otherwise don't display anything so if the user is not authenticated you don't have this notification menu same like a mail menu you don't have a message you don't have this uh, this uh, mail menu and for the profile menu you always will have profile menu because uh, whether you are logging or log out uh, you need uh, either logging back or log, log out from the uh, authenticated state the man, this, this is gone. The menu is all gone into the separate component. Yeah, that's pretty much. And we remove this uh, temporary uh, section for the profile menu. You can see mail menu is uh, basically just to copy everything from uh, the header.js with all the data and all the dependencies. So this is still the same display the menu. Notification is the same. And the profile menu, we made some uh, made a little bit change. We add this uh, sign uh, sign up. So you have sign out and the sign up from a profile uh, from a user contact. So when and this is a sign in. So when you uh, click the sign in button in the drop down menu from a, a profile, then it's basically like uh, this is the production redirect. Uh, you can see the the client ID will be seventy two, and uh, this is for uh, development, not equal to production. The client ID will be seventy three. The difference between those two client ID is when we register on the OWASP, this one will have redirect to the light API dot net, HTTPS light API dot net. And this one will be redirect 
uh, to uh, dive like API.net, I think. Or oh, in most cases, we'll redirect localhost 3000. Yeah, HPS localhost 3000. This method will be called when, uh, whenever we are hitting the uh, Yeah, so here how we display if is authenticated, then we display this uh, username sign out. Yeah, and if not authenticated, we are going to dis display the sign in and sign up so that uh, the menu will be different based on if you are authenticated or not, the drop down menu. Here I'm using a uh, re react reactive uh, fragment, but later on I found out like uh, this doesn't doesn't work like to separate the menus. Uh, so later on it's changed to div uh, as well. So user contact, we made some change so that uh, we. This is the debug, doesn't make any difference. And the export, we export extra from user content sign, uh, is sign up. And you can see the sign up right now, just same, same, uh, simply like sign up is called. So that we know like when you click sign up, this will be in the console. So this is the second video. And uh, we just walk through like a little bit uh, for the login redirect. This redirect is, uh, works uh, whenever you redirect to the Sign in site and come back, you will be authenticated.